Hello, my name is Dame Harper and I have a very special project to share with you today. The Special Olympics has been receiving donated scarves from crocheters and knitters around the world and now it's your chance to make one and donate it if you want. And uh, I'm going to put their address in the sidebar so you can go to their website and read all the uh, details. And my friends at allfreecrochet.com asked me to design a scarf you could crochet for the Special Olympics. When you go to the Special Olympics website, make sure you check the state that you're making your scarf for because each state has a different deadline. The Special Olympics picks a color scheme each year and it's a specific yarn. It's the Red Heart Super Saver and the two colors are Turqua there we go. and that's um, color 0512 and blue just plain blue. There's lots of kinds of blue. Make sure you get the one that says blue. And that's color 0886. I was lucky I found my uh, yarn locally, but you can also order it from the Red Heart um, website. So, uh, better get cracking. Here's what my scarf looks like so far. I have about two feet of it done. So, I'm going to be working on the rest of it today. With your H crochet hook, we're going to go ahead and put a slip knot on your hook and chain 19. And I'll be back as soon as I chain 19. The rest of the scarf is made in double crochets. If you're not that familiar with double crochets or you need a refresher, see my tutorial on double crochet increases and decreases because you'll need both for the scarf. Now we're going to go ahead, pull a piece of yarn over your hook and go in the fourth chain from the hook and do a double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. Go ahead and make another double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to do our first decrease. To do the decrease, you yarn over, pull up one loop, go through two, yarn over, go through the next space, pull up a loop. Now we have four. Pull through two. Now we have three. Yarn over, pull through all three. That's one decrease made. Now we're going to go ahead and do three double crochets. One, two, three, now we're going to do our next increase in the next space. We're going to do three double crochets in the same space. one double crochet two three see what that looks like that's actually the mountain part of our if you think of it as mountains and valleys the mountain part of our ripple now I'm going to do three double crochets in the next three spaces. One, two, three. Now I'm going to do my second decrease. So go in the next space, pull up one loop, go through two, yarn over, Go in the next space, pull up one loop, pull through two, and go through all three. That's a decrease. Now I'm going to go ahead and do three more double crochets. One, two, three. And at this point I've used up all the chains on the bottom row. And there's our first row. Now I'm going to chain three and turn. One, two, three, turn. 
Now this actually counts as the next double crochet. So we only need two more to make three at the beginning of the row. So here's the second one. See this counts as the first one, second one, third one. Right now we've, every row is going to be the same from here on out. So we've got to do a decrease on this next row, which means pull up one, go through two loops, yarn over, pull up one, go through two loops, yarn over, go through all three. That's a decrease. Then we've got three going up the hill. One, two, three. Make sure you pull out some more yarn so you have slack yarn. And then our increase, which is three in that top stitch. One, two, three. Now three going down the hill. One, two, get more yarn out. <laughs> three. And when you get to the bottom of the hill, we do the decrease. Pull through all three. And then three more double crochets. And the last double crochet goes in that chain three at the beginning. It's a little funky. Now here's the trick. I'll give you a few tips. This, once you get it memorized, is a really easy pattern. But if you start talking to people or watching television, it's easy to make mistakes. So if at any point you get to this end and you've got too many loops left or not enough loops left, that means you've made a mistake somewhere on this row. So go back through. Usually it means you've forgotten an, a decrease or maybe added an extra double crochet. So it's really easy to just rip it out to your mistake and then go again. Sometimes the mistake will be one row down. So I've never had to rip more than two rows out. So you're going to do four rows of the blue. I do hope to get an actual pattern for this up on the crochet site, allfreecrochet.com, in a, you know, a few days. So um, each row starts with chain three and turn. So go ahead and do four rows of the blue. Now I'm at the end of my fourth row, so I'm going to cut a few inches long piece on the end. Go ahead and pull the tail through to finish that off. And go ahead and get your hook back in there. Pick up your next color, which is the turquoise. And chain three with the new color. Two, three. Now if you're really clever, you can lay your ends along and cover them up as you go. So at the end of your project, you don't have all those ends to cover up. Right? So I'm going to chain, going to do two double crochets, and the turning chain counts as one. So one, two, three all together. And then just continue on with the pattern, covering up the ends. You only need to cover up about that much and then cut the rest off. Now you're going to go ahead and do um, four rows of each color alternating. And the um, website for Special Olympics said about six feet long. So keep going until you're close to six feet long. And finish the pattern. So in other words, the last set of four, closest to six feet, you'll be done. And then um, go ahead and weave in all of your uh, leftover ends. And you'll be done. Enjoy making your scarf. I'm sure it's going to be appreciated by whatever athlete gets it from the Special Olympics. And happy crocheting!